If you clicked on this video, you have a very specific problem, and I intend to help you with that. But to be warned, for this is not for the faint of heart. We're gonna get this uninstalled and reinstalled using just the tools you see here. Let's do it. You'll need a pair of needle nose pliers, a long skinny screwdriver, a bigger screwdriver when you've given up all hope. You're gonna need a hammer and a 3 16 punch. You're gonna need some safety glasses because seeing is cool. And last but not least, you're gonna need this piece of cardboard. Now, this specific piece of cardboard is special order, but you can find one similar from using like a cereal box or an old auto parts box. It just, it can't be super thick. So find yourself a thin piece of cardboard and make it look basically like this. It's not super specific, it's just, it's cardboard. First and foremost, we gotta take out this pin and there's only one way that it goes. I got this out. This will just slide right out, and we can put those off to the side. Oh, if only it were that easy. Now we have to get the spring out. That's the hard part about this job. Now inside this lovely steering shaft of ours, we can see that spring. That's what we gotta take out. If you wanna make this easier for yourself, unlock it, and now we can move this freely. This is the part where you're gonna want that eye protection. Now we're gonna take our skinny screwdriver, put it on the top side, and push like this. Oh no! And that, my friends, is why we use eye protection. While you're taking this out, you might end up bending it. As you can see, we're pretty bent right here. So you're gonna wanna fix that, make sure it's straight and looking like it should. So we're gonna do that and go into the headache in this and reinstall. So I have mine basically how it needs to be. If you're getting a lot of sponginess when you try and shift, then most likely this spring is worn out or just too compressed. So just stretch it out a little bit, and I seriously mean a little bit, and then you'll get it back to the way that you want it. So now that we have our spring in good standing, it's time to put it back in. All right, this is where that cardboard comes into place. If you look inside, that hole is where we need to be. And over here, there's a big old gap and we want to avoid the spring going that way. So this is why we have our cardboard. We're gonna make it basically as wide as our channel here, and we're just gonna bend it and push it in so that it's blocking that gap in the back. Because if it falls back there, then it's gonna get stuck in this mechanism or it's, you might be able to get it out this way. I forgot to mention a very important tool, which would be gravity. That definitely helps. If you have. If you can take your column out of your truck, do it. See, there we go. Now we're in the hole, we can take our cardboard out and toss it. Just so you know, I've done this several times and I was struggling to get this spring in when it was sideways. So seriously, if you can pull this out of your truck and do it standing upright, that would be the best. Okay, now we have our arm that we need to get in here. There's only one way that this goes in and that's gonna be with this notch facing down. We will have to compress this spring in order to get this lever in. So we're gonna bring out our baby screwdriver at first, see if that'll work because it's thin enough to be able to stick in there. Okay, we're gonna make sure that the holes are lined up. Now we're gonna take our pin and get in there. Okay, whew. Now, the final touch, hammer it back in. That is all there is to it. Now, this should spring right back into place. There shouldn't be any slop here. This should be a nice, firm spring. 
Shouldn't be able to move it here. This is in park. Now we pull. Now we're out of park. And should be just the way we need it to be. If you thought this was helpful, all I ask is that you like the video. I got nothing else. Y'all have fun. Be safe. Make good choices. Have a great day. I'm gonna head out.